Hey everyone, I wanted to make a video about this Chidi Tech Q1 Pro and what I think makes this printer unique over any other printer on the market uh, and why I chose to purchase this printer for my print farm and, uh, and the problem that it solves for me um, and my business. So uh, I've been running my print farm for the past three years and I have exclusively been printing with PLA. And the reason for that is because I do have a lot of machines and uh, if when I have all of these machines going, they all produce uh, fumes, right? So PLA is, is regarded as a safer material. It's not 100% safe, but it's safer than PETG and ABS. So um, despite having so many 3D printers, I still print PLA uh, for that reason. It's considered safer. And I do have an exhaust fan that's 1200 CFM that exhausts. Uh, whatever fumes do get produced, uh, it exhausts it to the outside. So uh, I run an air quality sensor in here. I have two different sensors and it's always, uh, you know, pretty good in here. So um, I've always picked PLA. I do have the X1 Carbons and these machines are my ABS machines. I rarely print ABS, but occasionally I have a customer that does request it. And when I print ABS on one machine, the fumes get pretty bad in this room. And uh, I generally just leave the room until the print's done, the exhaust fan exhausts it, and then um, I'm good to go. But the products that I make with PLA, uh, they, do, they do tend to warp uh, or get damaged during transit in the summer months. I'm in Texas, and so when I ship a package out, occasionally I'll get a customer that says, hey, these parts don't fit, and, and then when they send them back, I inspect them, and I realize that they actually got damaged due to heat. So the answer to that is to print an ABS all the time, print all my products in ABS. And truth be told, I don't want to do that because even with just one X1 carbon producing um, an ABS part, this room kind of fills up, and I'm not willing to compromise my health by running, you know, 12, 15 printers, <laughs> all printing ABS. So one of the solutions that I thought about was to build the Nevermore Stealth Max, which is a filtration system. You usually put it underneath or on top of your enclosure and it will filter out uh, the fumes. But even the Nevermore GitHub page says that these filtration systems will never completely remove the VOCs from, from the fumes, right? And on top of that, you have to add filter media, you know, carbon pellets, HEPA filters, and and when you have a lot of machines, it, it just it's just another thing that you have to do for routine maintenance, and I don't want to do that. So this is where the Chidi Tech Q1 Pro comes into play, and this is honestly the answer to my problems because it does a really great job at printing ABS because it has that chamber temperature. Or I'm sorry, the chamber heater. And I did a test last night, and I hooked up a duct uh, to this exhaust fan. I ran this exhaust fan at 100%, and then I set the chamber temperature to 60 degrees Celsius. And the machine was able to keep the chamber temperature at 60 degrees Celsius. I was able to print my ABS part completely warp-free and exhaust the fumes outside of the machine. So... That That is the perfect scenario because you just remove the fumes completely. I took this machine into a smaller room and I printed with it just to see if the room would smell, you know, like ABS or whatever. There was zero smell. Zero. I mean, this thing completely exhausted all fumes. And so that gave me the confidence to buy, you know, I'll probably end up buying six or seven of these. Probably five more and have six total and just run these uh printing abs 24 7 and i'm gonna feel confident that the fumes aren't going to come into the room because this this exhaust fan as it starts to exhaust out it's going to create this negative pressure inside of the chamber so it's not going to push any fumes out of the machine it's going to get sucked up by that uh by that exhaust fan so um that's going to be that's going to be perfect. I don't have to buy a filtration system. I don't have to buy carbon pellets and just do maintenance on that. So um 
yeah, there's a lot of people talking about the Q1 Pro. There's tons of reviews on YouTube, but nobody has really mentioned that. And and I think this is one of the only printers besides the X Max 3 or from Chidi Tech, the bigger version of this that also has a chamber uh, heater. I actually don't think that one would be able to maintain 60 degrees inside the chamber because it's it's bigger. And this one, I think, is the only printer on the market that can do this. I mean, please correct me if I'm wrong. I would like to know of any other printer. But uh, this this is the answer to my problems. Um, I also love the fact that it's open source because I'm going to be able to modify this and add my automatic part removal system that I developed here. Um, and so I'll be able to print ABS parts 24-7, completely unattended, and then also not risk my health with my workshop getting filled up with ABS fumes. So the machine itself, amazing machine, great quality. I'm not gonna make a whole review on it because there's a bunch of them. And to be completely honest, all printers these days kind of behave the same. I mean, it's an XYZ system and a nozzle, high speed, all that jazz or whatever. But what really makes this unique is the chamber temperature of the chamber heater and the exhaust fan can run 100% and exhaust all fumes and not lower that tem chamber, tem uh, chamber temperature. So that's a huge win in my opinion and I'm gonna buy more of these machines. So I just wanted to make this video and share it with you guys because maybe somebody's in the same situation that I'm in. They wanna print with ABS because it's a better material and they're just concerned about their health. So if you buy this, exhaust the fumes out a window You'll be able to print ABS warp free and not worry about any fumes. So hopefully this information was helpful and yeah, we'll see you in the next one.